What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to the next video. We're now going to do some examples dealing with a difference in a sum of cubes. I wrote out the formulas from the overview video on the side here. So starting with number one, we got to factor x to the power of three plus one. Now what I recommend doing whenever you get something like this is taking whatever you're given and trying to put it in one of these formats. Notice here we're going to be dealing with a sum of cubes and we can rewrite this as x to the power of three plus one to the power of three, like that. And so now notice it's in this format where the a value is the x and the b value is the one. And now all we have to do simply here is plug in this x and one for these a and b. So this would end up being a plus b, so we'd have x plus one. And then uh, we'd have x squared minus one times x is x plus one. One squared is one, like that. And remember this second bracket, you can never factor further. Okay, so this here ends up being the final answer for that sum of cubes right there. Now what about number two? We got x to the nine minus one. So notice this is going to be a difference of cubes. We're going to be using this formula. So what I'm going to do first is rewrite this in that format. So notice x to the nine, we can rewrite that as x to the power of three to the power of three, like that. And then this one we can write as to the power of three. Okay, so notice in this case, the a value is x to the three, and then the b value is one, right? The a value and then the b value, so we just gotta plug it into that formula. So we would have x to the power of three minus one, a minus b, and then we would have a squared, so it would be x to the power of three squared, which would give us x to the six, plus one, times x to the power of three plus one squared, which is just one, like that. And so this here, x to the power of nine minus one, factors into this, x to the power of three minus one times x to the power of six plus x to the power of three plus one. If you foiled all this out and simplified all the like terms, you'd end up with this. But are we done at this step? Well, we know this second bracket can never factor further, but you always wanna check if this bracket can factor further because sometimes it will, like in this case. Notice that we still have a difference of cubes here. right? Notice here, x plus one, you can't factor that further, but this x to the power of three minus one, you can factor further. That's a difference of cubes right there. And so if you apply the same thing here, so this x to the power of three minus one, very similar to x to the power of three plus one, we're just changing the sign. So the a value in this case is x, the b value in this case is one. Again, it's just we're gonna now be using this formula here. So this first bracket would factor into x minus one, x squared plus x plus one. Okay, if we use that same, um, the same thing where the a value is x, the b value is one. So this factors into these two brackets and then this second bracket we just leave as is because it can't factor further. And now notice this bracket can't factor further, this one can't, and then this one can't either. So this here is your final answer. That's the final factored form for x to the nine minus one. So notice that we had to apply the difference of cubes technique twice. 